So, the Game Fest announcement was today, and I have re-recorded this video like 10 times trying to get the information right on what's actually coming to New World, because what I saw at the Game Fest announcement and what they put on their website and what I'm reading on websites that aren't the New World site are not all matching up. So, this is what I am understanding we are getting with this update. Number one, we're going to console. New World will be available PC, console, Xbox, PlayStation, so, yeah, that's great. More players to play the game, more access to play the game. I think that's fantastic. Just for the game's population alone, that's going to be huge. Now, they mentioned that this is going to be rebranded as New World Aeternum. And with this initial rebrand, I totally didn't understand what we were going to get. Because the way that they had worded it, I was under the impression that... They're just bringing the game to console, and that's it. We're not getting anything else. So, here's the quote for you guys. That's right, New World, New World Eternum will launch on PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC on October 15th. And now you can play the game start to finish as a solo player, or play co-op and use cross-play as well. Well, as you can imagine, I was fairly confused by that statement that he made. Number one, the way they're trying to sell the game. You can play it as a solo experience or co-op as well. Initially, I'm like, is this still New World or have they made an adjacent game to New World that's kind of like it but a solo player experience? After doing some research, yes, it still is New World. I don't know why they decided to change it up and market like this and not even mention that it's an MMO. I I'm not sure, but... From what I can understand, it will still be New World with all of the existing zones, all of the existing content that is in the game already, and yes, it will still be an MMO. There will still be other players in the world, you'll be able to PvP, you can do Outpost Rush, you can do Wars, you can do all that kind of stuff. One thing that might change is maybe the maximum server size. I don't know how that's going to work with consoles. Um, they did say it's going to be cross-platform, which is awesome, but... That, uh, that was one part there that was unclear for me, at least initially, and I had to do a little bit of digging to figure out what New World Aeternum will encompass. The next big question I had is what new stuff are we actually going to get with the Aeternum upgrade? Now, I had to do quite a bit of digging again to figure out basically everything that I could find, but here is the list so far. We're going to be getting the first 10-player raid, which is a PvE raid um, engagement. The first PvP zone. I am crazy excited for that. Oh my god. We're getting more endgame solo trials. There's going to be another gear score increase, which I am not actually very excited for. Um, but we'll see what that ends up being. We're getting swimming! Hooray! That's awesome, hey? Getting some swimming in the game. We're getting bear mounts um, as a new mount type, and then cross-play but not cross-progression. Now, this was pulled from the PC Gamer website. I don't know what they really mean by non-cross-progression. Um, maybe the servers will be separate between... I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Maybe that has to do with the servers, but... Yeah, that's everything I could see here. And they did say that they have made some improvements um, for the game as well, as well as a new, more cinematic introductory experience to the game. But yeah, that's uh, that's all the info I could find. All the existing game stuff will be in there, though. So, no new weapon. That's the one thing I'm kind of sad about. I was really, really hoping we would see a new weapon. I was hoping for daggers, pistols, maybe pistol dagger, maybe dagger pistol. I don't know. Mix it up. But, yeah, maybe we'll see a new weapon. Maybe that's something they're just waiting until closer to the actual launch date to show us. Anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed a bit of a breakdown of what we're getting with uh, this new Aeternum update. Of course, there will be more information coming as time goes on, and uh, I'll share it with you guys as soon as possible. They finally fixed that super annoying bug that drains all your stamina, so I'm actually playing PvP again, and I'll be streaming again as well. Um, I just didn't stream for the week because <laughs> you couldn't PvP, basically. I didn't want to go out there and play in the bug game. So, yeah, hope to catch you guys there. Thank you guys again for watching, and uh, let me know what you think. See you all next time.